One way of importing a set of pictures, of course, onto this page here, for example, let's put in some guides, is by just going to my finder and dragging and dropping a bunch of pictures. The problem with that is that the picture boxes that are newly created are just stacked. So what I want to have is I want to have an instrument that allows me, a tool that allows me to specify how these boxes should be created. And with Quark Express 9, I have that. With utilities, image grid, I can actually specify how this should look like. I can say, I'd like to maybe auto size my pictures to four by three columns. Specify the gap here, apply a drop shadow to all of the boxes, specify rounded corners for my boxes. I want to fit the image to the box proportionally. And if the box is then still larger because maybe the aspect ratio doesn't fit, I want to fit the box to the picture. Then I just need to select the folder that contains my pictures and all of my pictures are imported. And you can see, well, I probably have to tweak here a bit because now it runs into my text here. So let's undo this and go back to image grid. I can redo that. Maybe say I don't want to auto size it by four by three. I want to auto fill this. And this time I want to use a certain limit for my boxes. So they shouldn't be wider than 1.75 inches and they shouldn't be wider than uh, higher than 2.1 inches. I'll keep the gap and maybe leave the rest as I did. I'll select the same folder. I'll say OK. And now you can see that Quark Express actually fit all of the elements onto the page. Now, of course, since these are standard Quark Express picture boxes, I can still move and modify them, like applying the drop shadow, taking away the drop shadow and stuff like that. So let's undo that again and maybe re-import a last time. And this time what I want to do with image grid is I also want to have the picture name underneath. So I want to autofill the pages. Maybe this time I'll use a bit smaller size. I want to have a fixed size. I want to have the name only, not the other attributes of the picture with nine points underneath the picture. I don't want to drop shadow. I want square boxes again and I'll take my pictures. I say choose and now all of them are in maybe the way I want them to so that I have the name underneath, I have all of them fit in and it even spills over to the second page.